What's goody warriors? I'm back. I'm ready to do this thing. I'm not wasting any time, man. Euro Gamer Expo 2014. Batman. They had like a little video there. There was no gameplay of it, it was just like a little video, like a cinema booth where you went in and watched like an exclusive video, which is pretty cool. And I got to play The Evil Within and Bayonetta 2. Let me just say something quickly about The Evil Within. That game is astounding. Right now, we're going to focus on Bayonetta 2. Yes, we're going in. I got to go with Saurian, Saurian Dash, the godlike stylish action player, Sinho. Um, you can find him in one of my, in, if you go to my subscribers list, you can see him in my subscribers. Yeah, quality, diamond geezer, love him. Shingo, see you. I see you, bro. You know what it is. You know what it is already. Mint condition, mint condition, you know. Now, the thing that I want to address is on Bayonetta 2. It was very hard to find, but when we eventually found Bayonetta on only two cabinets three hours well two hours 47 minutes i had to wait to get a goal on bayonetta and now the queue was not excessively long everybody had been allocated 20 minutes to play bayonetta 20 minutes two cabinets a queue a lot of people stood in the queue and they just walked away because it was way too long to wait the only awareness that people could see that bayonetta was there was it had like a little poster for bayonetta gorgeous poster of her and it was about half the size of that poster there how is anybody supposed to know Bayonetta's there unless the most people that go to this expo are here for all the games not just one game in particular I personally went there for Bayonetta and the Evil Within now unless you followed the game hardcore you'd never know Bayonetta has had any promotion it's had a lot of promotion in Japan. It's been like in subways and bus stations and big posters everywhere. Don't they do that for like hundreds of thousands of anime and video games in like Tail Station and Shinjuku and Akihabara and everywhere else and like bus stations? Don't they do that for like hundreds of thousands of other anime and video games? They do? I thought so. So it's nothing special. So you're not exactly pushing the boat out, are you, Nintendo, when it comes to promoting Bayonetta? That's why Bayonetta is not doing well. It is sad that video games these days have to be promoted in a way that they become more than just a game because in the end of the day they are just games but I feel like the business module that has been implemented by studios like all these studios I'm not going to say any names but you know who they are yeah where they spend in hundreds of thousands of dollars on promotion it makes no sense to me and then you hype the game up and then the game will always disappoint the game's always disappoint because people expect more than what they're getting. You are only getting a game, mind you, but they hype it in a way that it kind of like brainwashes people. When they get the game, they're very disappointed. What do you expect? It's a video game, but promotions is not saying that. So it's sad about that, but there is such a thing as underselling a game. And that's what I think is happening to Bayonetta. Every opportunity Bayonetta gets to show off the game or Nintendo, what they do? They give you a little tutorial or a little video where they say X is punch, Y is kick, B is jump, R is to dodge or whatever button you set it to. Is that it? You're really going to do a video where you're going to tell people the absolute basics. This is punch. That's like talking to someone in street fighter to teach you something to someone in a street fighter saying oh this is how you do a fireball and explaining what the fireball okay i'd understand that if you explain to somebody the meaning of a fireball a fireball is an extension of your footsie that's what a fireball is i'd understand that but then when you just say this is how you do a fireball this is what it looks like it doesn't mean anything and that's what they do with bayonetta they say oh this is how you do torture attacks now if you play bayonetta you know Torture attacks are good, but they're not the meat of the system. What is so godlike about Bayonetta is Bayonetta is actually an overpowered character. Just like Raiden was, just like Dante was. But they're not overpowered because of, of what the character's capabilities are. It's they're overpowered because the game never limits you to what the character can do. You're only limited by your own imagination and your own creativity. So whatever you can think up, you can execute in the game. The game gives you an almost infinite list, endless possibilities of what Bayonetta can do. 
That's why I made it such an incredible game that I love. Because I never feel like, every time I feel like, oh, I can't do any more, I always find something new. Or I always have a discussion with one of my friends that loves the game, like Sori and Dash, and find out something new about Bayonetta that I never knew. This is the original Bayonetta. I'm not even talking about Bayonetta 2 yet. Yeah, I'm talking the original Bayonetta. And you just find out new things about the game. The game is absolutely an incredible game. That's why in the industry, developers and directors in all the studios love Platinum Games. That's why Platinum Games seem to make a lot of games that don't do that well. But they're still a business because within the industry they love platinum games because if you play metal gear rising and you understand game systems and design you'll know that metal gear rising is an absolute genius creation play bayonetta the game is so it's so crunchy it's so meaty the game is so in depth it's astounding how they managed to fit some of these systems in that game it's just, uh, it's just mind-boggling, and game developers see that. That's why a lot of people, Konami, Activision, Microsoft, S Sega, Nintendo, want to. How many game studios, third-party um, game studios, independent third-party studios, work with so many big names at one time? Nobody, because within the industry, they know how godlike Platinum Games is. Bayonetta 2 beautiful game i got to play it i absolutely loved the game it was so good i could see the change they did because i played bayonetta so much i could see everything all the changes they did not just with her with her actions with her button combinations but the feeling of the game the flow of the game is completely different it's completely different somehow the gameplay has got faster and it's more intense and it's exhilarating. And I don't know how they managed to do that because Bayonetta 1 was already an exhilarating fast paced game. But they managed to do it in this. I loved it. I was so happy playing it. The only thing I was sad about was waiting almost three hours to play the game. And then there only being two boosts for Bayonetta and the awareness and promotion for it was very, very small. Other than that, I've got a bad word to say. Please, Nintendo. Try to promote Bayonetta a little bit more. Try to put it in the hands of some people that actually love Bayonetta. Instead of people like, you did a Nintendo Direct thing the other day. And you had over um, 80,000 people watching. And one of the people that you had on your Nintendo Direct Treehouse. Said that they didn't even know. They had the game for a couple months. Yet they didn't even know what Dodge Offset was. I facepalmed when I heard that. I'm like, these are the people that you're putting the game in the hand of. Try giving it to, try giving Bayonetta to Soria Dash. Or somebody that loves the game, that they don't care about fame. They don't care about publicity. But that's what you're doing, Nintendo. You're giving the game, you're giving advanced copies of this game for people to test the game out that don't even care about Bayonetta. Or they care about Bayonetta as much as they care about the next game that's coming out in two weeks' time. Or they'll only care when you put a microphone on the camera in front of them. Bayonetta is a stepping stone to make to make to make their own independent game for most of these people. Entrust the game to people that are passionate for the right reasons about Bayonetta and about your products. Don't give it to casual people that are the most unreliable people to promote your game or talk about your game. Casual people are very important, but when I say casual people, I mean people that they don't have any loyalty to that game or that character. You know, I love Bayonetta. I play Bayonetta one. I play. I'll get Bayonetta two and play Bayonetta two because I love Bayonetta. I want to support it and endorse it. Whereas the other person, they'll be talking about Bayonetta today. They'll be talking about Call of Duty tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Or they'll be talking about whatever game. So it is what it is, and I hope you take my words on board. If you don't, it's you. It's Nintendo, so probably they won't. But I would like to say, Bayonetta 2, absolutely beautiful game. The game was spot on, everything I could dream of, and more. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know I went on a little bit too much, but you know, if you've been subscribed to my channel, which I'll say thank you, Warriors, for subscribing. You know this is how I roll. Okay, Warriors. Take care and enjoy life.